Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to bring SVG backgrounds right into Beaver Builder. Um, this doesn't matter whether you have the free or the pro version if you pay for it. Um, so let's get to it. I'm Matt Vizzywig and I'm going to show you where you can find some cool backgrounds. You don't have to make them yourself. So right now I'm on svgbackgrounds.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Just go into Browns and Freebies. And you can grab any of these backgrounds. Um, I'm just going to find one quickly for this demo. Let's go with this guy. And we can customize it. So let's go. Ooh, I like that. Um, let's make something a little bit more subtle, though. All right. Let's just go with this. What I'm going to do is hit Export. And what we want is under the copy and paste, we want the CSS. So that's copied to my clipboard. And if you have, if you're paying for Beaver Builder, there's a menu directly for CSS right here. And you can paste that. Um, I'm going to show you what you do if you have the free version. But if you have, if you're paying for it, you can put it right on the page or um, you can put it into the WordPress backend. So I'm on the dashboard. I'm going to visit Appearance, Customize. Only reason that you wouldn't have this is if your theme or a plugin disables it. Once you're there, you can hit Additional CSS. And this is where we're going to paste our code. It will be accessible anywhere on the site. Close this dialog. So what you're looking at right now is the front page of my website. It's a fresh install of WordPress, um, and it's a default theme. It's WordPress's 2021 theme. Now, to demonstrate that you can pretty much override the background right here, we're going to put it on a body tag. So whatever you do with CSS, you need to specify what you want to change. So we're going to just demonstrate that you can change the background color. So I type in background. And we're going to go with black. There you go. It's overriding that. So now if we actually, instead of this rule, we paste what we got from svgbackgrounds.com. There you go. Changing the background. Now, so to make this site-wide, which we it's doing right now, we would have to just save it. So I would hit publish. But I don't quite want to do that. I want to be able to um, change any specific row or section in Beaver Builder, um, not the whole site. So instead of body, I'm going to create a class. So for creating a class, we need to put a period in front. That tells CSS we're creating a class. And we're going to call this SVG hyphen background. All right, SVG background. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. So now that it's saved, we're going to go to our Beaver Builder demo page that I created beforehand. Uh, I'm just going to hit publish. The reason being is I created this rule after this page has already loaded. So I'm just going to need to refresh it. So now that I refreshed it, hopefully it should pull in the rule. So I'm going to go, oh, we're not editing this section anymore. So now we're editing, right? We got our tools. All right. So we're going to go to the row settings of the specific section you want to change. It's going to pull up the row settings. We want to go to the advanced tab. And we want to scroll down all the way to class. So we created a class called SVG background. So I'm going to type that in, SVG hyphen background. And bam, it pulled it in. Um, so you can apply this to other things too. Um, obviously, sections are a good candidate for that. Let's say we wanted to do this with um, the title. All right. So we open up the heading settings again, advanced, scroll down to class, type that in, 
and the background is applying to just the title. So you can apply it to rows, elements, what have you. So that's the basics, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, leave something in the comments. Um, I will, again, leave the site where you can get all these different backgrounds. Um, and this is, so this is cumulative. You could add multiple backgrounds and then access them site-wide if you put them in the WordPress customizer. Um, and just quickly, one reason you would want to do this is if you're going to a stock site for photos and you use full screen visuals, those things are pretty big in file size. Um, I would just give an average. You can get them down if you really optimize it, but a full screen graphic can be up to a megabyte. Sometimes even bigger if you don't really do any optimization. But so let's go with a megabyte. These SVG backgrounds are about five kilobytes. Um, so in context, that's about one two hundredth of the same file size. So you can have 200 of these backgrounds for one image on average, I would say. Obviously, you can do a lot to optimize some images, but that's kind of a stark difference. So that's one of the reasons you could use this and then you'd have a faster loading website because images and video really add to the sluggishness of a website. So if you keep those down, your website should load a lot faster. All right, hope you enjoyed. Again, any questions? Leave it in the comments.